Hello everybody. Welcome. My name is Donna Dodson, or you can call me Do. I'm the owner of Do Dodson Designs. And if you're just hopping on here today, I wanted to share with you a trick that I use on my furniture that has the sticky drawers. You know, I do a lot of painting. Painting is actually my passion, but Another passion that I have too is repairing old furniture. And I'm talking about not just old furniture, but furniture that nobody else wants. The old castaways, the ones that are destined to go to the dump. You know, I love to save those because those are pieces, you know, that have been used and worn by time and have so much character. So if you're coming on and you see me, say hello. I'd love to know where you're from. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I have this piece behind me that um, I picked up uh, a while ago and it's been sitting in my garage and I haven't really decided what I wanted to do with it because I knew it needed a lot of work. First off, it had broken doors. And I mean to the point that they were broken and that they could not be repaired. Hello, Kristen. Hello, Sarah. Thanks for joining. So glad you're here. Uh, yeah. This was a very ornate piece, and let me show you the door. These were the doors that it had on there. Very pretty detailing, I love that about the piece. It also had a lot of detailing up here, which I removed. And the reason I removed it is because I had to replace these doors and I had to build new doors. Building, um, when you find a piece of furniture, don't discard it and look by the wayside just because it has broken. There's lots of ways that you can replace these broken pieces. These actually, these doors were very simple to recreate. All I did was take this board, laid it on top of another board and cut the piece out as my pattern and then reattach the hinges to the inside of the door to make new doors. So boom, you got a new piece. And if you're painting in any way, it really doesn't matter, you know, um, it's going to look great. It's probably going to look better than it did before. So, but the reason I came on today was to share with you, um, hello, Bethany, how are you? Hey, Lane, good to see you, sweetheart. Um, the reason I come on today is because um, wood furniture creates a lot of problems, especially when it's old and it's brittle and it's been sitting maybe in the garage or it's been in storage, exposed to the elements, you know, the, the heat, extreme heat and then the extreme cold and the humidity changes, really dries out, makes the wood old and brittle. And not all drawers are created equal. Some have slides on them, they have the wheels. The newer pieces of furniture, you really can't do this trick on. But if you have an old piece of furniture like this one and it's all wood, and I'll pull this out and show you the drawers, it's completely wood. There's nothing but wood here. And then inside here, you have the wood pieces. A lot of times when I get these pieces, those drawers are stuck and they don't slide very well. They just, they're kind of crickety and they're just not good. But what I do to, to uh, make those slide better is I use a product on these. And what I'll do first is take the drawers out and I'll sand them all down because a lot of times they're rough, they got splinters and they're just, they're not in good shape. So I'll sand all that down, I'll go inside and then I'll sand the runs down. But then, I'll show you what I use. This is the best trick that I know, okay? This is Min Wax, and it is a finishing paste wax. It's inexpensive, you can get it Walmart, you can get it hardware stores. I take that, and I'll show you, I'll go ahead and do one for you so you'll see. Let me get this open. There's lots of products on the market. You could just use your regular furniture wax that you want to, but some of this stuff's expensive. I don't wanna waste my good wax on the slides of a drawer, so I'll just get this old thick paste wax. I take my wax, and if you look at it, it's kind of, you can tell. I've had this can probably, I ain't kidding you, for three years. It lasts that long. And I take a paper towel, because I'm all about being disposable. Hey, Brandy, you love the wax too? Yes. Hey, good morning, Amy. But I'll get a little bit of the paste wax. And I tell you, when I first started doing furniture, when the whole wax craze came out, I used this on my furniture too. And I'm telling you, it can create some really durable finishes, but it's harder than heck to get off. So I, I tend not to use it anymore. But just put a little bit on your cloth and then go inside and do all of your runs. 
just put a good thick coat on there. And I typically do this after the piece is painted because you don't want to put wax on a piece of the, you don't want to do these first and then wax it and then go back and paint it because if you do, the paint's not going to adhere. So I always do this after you finish painting your, your furniture. I'm going to be careful with this because I know I'm going to be painting this here really soon. Take your drawers, okay, and run your bead all along here. Just a real thin bead. I'm not going to say this is going to fix all the problems that you have because if you have a structural issue, you're going to have to address that and that's a whole nother story. But if it's just because they're brittle and they're dry and they're not sliding well, this is the perfect fix. And it's like I said, it's very cheap. It's inexpensive. And then you put your drawers back in. And just in that little bit of time, I can hear the difference in the slide even. It's just a quieter slide and it's not dragging and catching on anything. It can be used for all the drawers. You can do these as well. These are the same way. You just go in and you wax the bottom, wax the insides as well. It doesn't work as good if you just wax the drawer and don't wax the inside. You need all the wood that meets wood to wood and get those wax and get them slick. Um, sometimes you may have to do a couple of coats on there. I've actually done that where I took uh, the wax, let it dry, and then went back and put another layer of wax on it. So the thicker the wax and the harder it is, the smoother it's going to be. And with the men wax, if you're just joining, um, I'm showing everybody how to use men wax, paste wax on the inside of your drawers uh, that slides and it creates a real smooth finish so they slide in and out very well. But um, what was I gonna say? Hmm, I done forgot now. But anyway, Min Wax, this is what I use and it works really well for all those old wood pieces. But remember, be sure that you paint your piece before you put this on because you don't wanna put it on and then paint over it because it's not gonna stick. Wax is a repellent. Uh, it's a water repellent, so it's going to repel paint, too, because most of your paint is going to be water-based, and it's going to do that. So, anyway, I just had a quick moment before I get started on this piece. I wanted to jump on and show you this, and if you have any questions, leave them in the message. I'll, I'll be happy to get back with you, and I hope you have a good day. Sorry, I, I got to go, guys. I got to work. Just wanted to tell you. Y'all, see you later. Bye.